My name is Matthew Shea. And I'm Patrick Vihal. Today we're going to show you how to properly complete the ACSM curl up test, which is a measure of muscular endurance. This test is important because it assesses the development of core muscles, which can help prevent injuries, reduce lower back pain, improves balance and posture, and increases sports performance and activities of daily living. Throughout this video, Patrick will be demonstrating both the correct and incorrect techniques of this test. The curl-up test is performed in the supine position, starting with the head, shoulder blades, hips, and feet flat on the floor. The knees bent at a 90 degree angle. The arms should be extended at the sides with palms facing down towards the ground. The middle finger should be touching the edge of the first strip of tape. This is the bottom position. A second piece of tape will be placed 12 centimeters away from the start of the first piece of tape if the client is under the age of 45, and 8 centimeters away if the client is 45 years or older. Patrick is under the age of 45, so he will need to reach at least 12 centimeters for a complete curl up. To keep pace throughout this test, we will use a metronome set to 40 beats per minute. Patrick will then lift his shoulder blades off the ground at a 30 degree angle after one beat of the metronome to reach the top position. After the next consecutive beat of the metronome, Patrick will return to the supine position. This will count as one complete curl up. This test is done without rest between curl ups. Patrick's feet will remain flat on the floor for the duration of the test without being held down. At the top of the curl up, the abs are in the concentric contraction and Patrick should exhale. As Patrick returns to the floor, the abs are in the eccentric phase and he will inhale. This test will last until Patrick cannot do any more curl ups while staying on beat with the metronome. If he completes a maximum of 75 curl ups, the test will be over. If Patrick cannot feel where the end of the tape is, a partner can place his fingers on the end of the tape and Patrick will reach up until he hits the fingers. Another way to do this is to place a meter stick across so that Patrick can feel the change in elevation. Improper techniques for this test include not reaching past 12 centimeters, reaching past 12 centimeters with only one hand, lifting his feet off the ground, or falling behind the beat of the metronome. Each offense will be given one warning and the test will be over if the participant cannot recover and do a proper curl up. After completion of this test, it is important to classify the participant based on age and number of curl ups performed. The score will be recorded as a percentile. Patrick is a male who falls within the 20 to 29 age range and completed 75 curl ups. According to this chart, Patrick is in the 90th percentile and has well above average core muscular endurance. This has been a presentation of the ACSM curl up test by Matthew Shea and Patrick Vial, and thanks for watching.